I'm Chris Turney. I'm a professor of climate change and earth sciences at the University of New South Wales. 2013-14 marks the centenary of the Australasian Antarctic expedition, led by the great scientist and explorer, Sir Douglas Mawson. In a celebration of this remarkable endeavour, the new Australasian Antarctic expedition will retrace the route of its namesake to discover just how much has changed over the last hundred years. The following short movie is a virtual tour of the route we will take. If you'd like to join us on the expedition or simply learn more, please visit our website www.spiritofmawson.com. Never before has a continent been more misunderstood. During the 19th century, the Antarctic was a region of wilderness and of extremes, of rough and icy seas that took ships on a mere whim, of wild animals in the depths. But all this changed 100 years ago, when five teams headed south for a race to explore and describe this ancient landscape. Arguably, the most significant of all these was the Australasian Antarctic Expedition of 1911 to 1914, led by Sir Douglas Mawson. Thanks to Mawson and his men's efforts, thousands of kilometres of coastline were mapped with breathtaking accuracy, while volumes of scientific reports lovingly described the bizarre wildlife, ancient geology, fickle weather and hazardous oceans in and around this newly discovered continent. To celebrate the achievements of this bygone era, the new Australasian Antarctic Expedition will take a team of 48 women and men south from Bluff near Invercargill, New Zealand, to discover just how much has changed over the last hundred years in the Southern Ocean, the Sub-Antarctic Islands and Commonwealth Bay, Antarctica. Inspired by Mawson's endeavour, the expedition will meld science and adventure to explore one of the last great isolated regions on our planet. Discoveries will be communicated using the very latest technology, including Google Plus Hangouts on Air, Twitter updates and film footage posted on the Intrepid Science YouTube channel. Departing Bluff in late November 2013, the team will set out on board an ice-strengthened vessel for a six-week voyage split into two legs. Fighting our way across the wind belt known as the Roaring Forties, the expedition will have to face some of the wildest seas in the world, making observations as we go. During the first leg, we will journey to the New Zealand sub-Antarctics, which lie in the Furious Fifties. We will be visiting islands rarely frequented by humans to undertake a major research programme, led by the science team and assisted by public members on the expedition. The Auckland and Campbell Islands are havens of wildlife, being some of the most biologically productive in the world, and yet face the uncertain impact of subtly shifting westerly winds as our planet warms. These archipelagos straddle 50 to 52 degrees south and mark the remains of extinct volcanoes formed tens of millions of years ago. Just a few days sailing from New Zealand, they offer incredible potential for better understanding past climate and its impact on this highly sensitive environment. Trees, peats and lakes will help generate records of change, while biological surveys on and below the surface will allow us to explore these sanctuaries of wildlife deep in the Southern Ocean. If conditions permit, we will also visit the pristine Snares Islands, providing a northern limit to our sub-Antarctic transect. Detailed mapping and aerial reconnaissance using silent drone technology will allow direct comparisons to the work undertaken over the last hundred years. Hourly bird counts will be undertaken throughout the expedition and images of the amazing wildlife will be beamed directly to the public at home and on the move. After 11 days, the New Zealand sub-Antarctic phase of the expedition will be complete and our vessel will return to New Zealand to start the laboratory work and rotate team members. For the second leg of the expedition, we will then strike out across the Southern Ocean for Macquarie Island and Commonwealth Bay the two main bases of the original AAE. At 54 degrees south, Macquarie Island marks the boundary between the sub-Antarctic and Antarctica, lying immediately north of the Antarctic circumpolar current. Here the team will focus on biological and oceanographic science, using remotely operated vehicles and underwater cameras to measure the marine biodiversity around the island. Where possible, we will use robotic arms to sample the ocean floor. For comparison to the measurements made 100 years ago, we will also record sea surface temperatures near the original base. 
ploughing on into the screaming sixties, the scientific programme will continue at sea. The Southern Ocean plays a crucial role in global climate in the carbon cycle, and the latest research suggests large changes are afoot. Satellite transmitting floats and submersibles will be released during the voyage, collecting precious sea temperatures and salinity data for years after the expedition has returned home, while water measurements collected en route will provide valuable observations from this vast region. Unfortunately, recent attempts by other parties and satellite imagery has shown Commonwealth Bay to be badly clogged with sea ice, limiting access to the old huts over the last three years. In the spirit of Mawson, we will attempt to reach Cape Denison, but if unsuccessful, we'll push on and land at one of several other ice-free locations to continue the planned work. Supplies and scientific equipment will be transported over the sea ice on shore using the latest all-terrain vehicles known as Argos, designed to operate at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees centigrade. Small teams made up of scientists and public members of the expedition will work under, above and around the original AE base, collecting, measuring and communicating results from the windiest place in the world in real time. Ice cores will generate precious records of climate over recent millennia, while geological samples will be collected to reconstruct the ever-changing shape of the ice sheet. 23. 23. 12. 12. The local wildlife will provide valuable new comparisons to the samples collected a century ago, and with the Mawson Hut Foundation, repairs will be made to the original expedition structure alongside detailed mapping of its historic site. After a further four weeks and an amazing journey, we will return to New Zealand in early January 2014. We hope you're as excited about this endeavour as much as we are. We want the Australasian Antarctic Expedition to recapture the excitement of scientific exploration by taking you on an extraordinary journey to one of the most isolated and scientifically exciting regions of our planet. If you'd like to join the science team on the expedition or simply learn more, please feel free to visit the website www.spiritandmawson.com.